Narayana Murthy, full name Nagavara Ramarao Narayana Murthy, is an Indian entrepreneur and the co-founder of Infosys, one of the largest and most prominent IT services and consulting companies in India. Today we will discuss the story of his life. Narayana Murthy was born on August 20, 1946, in Mysore, Karnataka, India. He earned his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the National Institute of Engineering, Mysore, now part of Vishveshvaraya Technological University. His uncle was a civil servant and his father was very keen that he take that up as a career but somehow that didn't appeal to him. He took a degree in engineering at a local college and hoped to become a junior engineer in a hydroelectric power plant, Nehru's temples of modern India. After completing his education, Murthy worked at IIM Ahmedabad as a chief systems programmer. He also worked in France for a while before returning to India. In 1981, Narayana Murthy founded Infosys Technologies along with six of his friends. None of them had the money to start the company, but luckily his wife Suda Murthy, who was an engineer with Tata Industries, had saved 10,000 rupees about 250 US dollars that she donated to start the company. Since its inception, Infosys Technologies developed quickly and has done well not only in the domestic stock markets but also in the international markets. Infosys initially started as a small IT consulting and services company. In March 1999, it became the first India-registered company to be listed on an American stock exchange. Under Murthy's leadership, Infosys grew steadily and became a global player in the IT industry. The company went public in 1993, and its initial public offering, IPO, was oversubscribed. Murthy aggressively expanded his company's services and client base, negotiating deals with many overseas businesses to provide them with consulting, systems integration, software development, and product engineering services. For the year ending March 2000, it earned $61.3 million on sales of $203.4 million. During the downturn on the stock market in early 2001, Infosys growth slowed, but the company was still enjoying substantial growth. In a poll conducted by Asia Week, Mr. Murthy was selected one of the 50 most powerful people in Asia for 2000. 50% of the respondents in an online poll conducted by the Economic Times voted him the best CEO of India. Sawney. As of January 8, 2000, when Infosys Technologies' share price crossed the 16,910 rupees mark on the Bombay Stock Exchange, his 7.7% holding in the company is valued at 4,306 crore rupees, or just about $1 billion. Although Mr. Murthy once remarked that being labeled a national icon can wreak havoc on your ego, he continues to cling to his roots, staying in a house in the middle-class area of Jayanagar in Bangalore with his engineer wife Suda and the two children, Akshata and Rowan and to draw on insights from his early experiences and from the Indian tradition. Murthy was born into a modest family. His father worked as a school teacher in Mysore. Narayana Murthy served as the CEO of Infosys from 1981 to 2002 and then as the chairman of the board from 2002 to 2011. He played a key role in establishing a culture of transparency, integrity, and high ethical standards at Infosys. In 2000, he was awarded Padma Shri by the Government of India for his significant contribution to the country's IT sector and economy. In April 2004, Murthy announced that the Bangalore-based Infosys had posted $1.06 billion in total annual revenues, an astonishing 33% increase in revenues over the previous fiscal year. The company's growth was all the more remarkable because it came in the midst of a global downturn in the information technology industry. Such phenomenal success was not without controversy, however. A political debate erupted in the United States over job losses caused by offshoring, the outsourcing of work overseas. This was of serious concern to Infosys, which derived more than two-thirds of its revenue from American corporations. Murthy responded that it was normal that concerns over job losses would be voiced, and while he indicated that he thought outsourcing was here to stay, 
he made efforts to assuage some of the anger by announcing that Infosys would establish a consulting unit in the United States that would employ 500 workers. In the end the controversy appeared not to have significantly dented Infosys's business. When Murphy retired in 2006, he left behind a company with some 70,000 employees and $3 billion a year in revenues. He was awarded the Legion of Honor in 2008. Today, Narayana Murthy is listed as one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time, alongside Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. In 2008, he was awarded Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award. Before we continue our story, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget also to turn on the notification bell to be updated in our every uploads. Murthy has been a vocal advocate for the growth of the IT industry in India and has actively contributed to various policy-making initiatives. He has received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to the field of information technology and business. Narayana Murthy and his family are actively involved in philanthropy. They have set up the Infosys Foundation to support various social causes, including education, healthcare, and rural development. In 2011, when Narayana Murthy took retirement, the company went through tumultuous times. Cost-cutting was evident and the performance of the company deteriorated. Murthy retired from his executive position at Infosys in 2011 but continued to be involved in various advisory and mentoring roles. He is often sought after for his insights on entrepreneurship, leadership, and the Indian economy. On June 1, 2013, Narayana Murthy was called out of retirement to lead the company once again. Narayana Murthy, who will turn 67 this year, has taken up the challenge to bring the company back on its feet. He has taken up the positions of an additional director and the executive chairman of the board with the company. And he is working closely with the top management to come up with incentives such as giving higher salaries to top performers to improve the performance of the company. This is a true example of commitment and dedication. Even after his retirement, Narayana Murthy is willing to sacrifice his luxuries to revive the company. In the subsequent years, Infosys saw a huge growth curve earning many accolades to its name like being enlisted at number 3 in the Forbes World's Best Regarded Companies in 2019. Narayana Murthy is married to Sudha Murthy, who is an educator, author, and philanthropist. Suda Murthy is also the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation. They have two children, a son named Rowan Murthy and a daughter named Akshata Murthy. Rowan Murthy is a junior fellow at the Harvard Society of Fellows, founder of the Murthy Classical Library of India, and founder and chief technical officer of the digital transformation company Sorico. In 2009, Akshata got married to British politician Rishi Sunak, who requires no introduction. Rishi Sunak who served as a member of parliament, eventually, became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Narayana Murthy is a reading enthusiast and he believes that a greater impact on society can be made through politics. The James C. Morgan Global Humanitarian Award, which honors those who use technology to improve the lives of others, was given to Narayana Murthy. He is part of the boards of the Ford Foundation, the UN Foundation, and the Indo-British Partnership, and serves as a trustee for the Infosys Prize and the Rhodes Trust. He also leads the governing board of the Public Health Foundation of India. Murthy was Fortune Magazine's 2003 Asian Businessman of the Year. Murthy received two honors in 2001, the Max Schmeini Freedom Prize from the University of St. Gallen and the Wharton Deans Medal from the University of Pennsylvania. Under Narayana Murthy's leadership, Infosys grew rapidly. The company quickly expanded its operations globally, establishing offices in several countries including the United States, Europe, and Asia. Infosys was also one of the pioneers of the offshore outsourcing model, which allowed it to provide high-quality software services at a fraction of the cost compared to its competitors. Narayana Murthy is a true visionary who has had a profound impact on the technology industry. Through his hard work, determination, and leadership skills, 
he has transformed Infosys from a small startup into one of the world's leading software companies. His philanthropic work and commitment to social causes have also earned him widespread recognition and respect. Narayana Murthy is an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and a shining example of what can be achieved through hard work and determination. Narayana Murthy is widely regarded as one of the pioneers of the Indian IT industry and is admired for his contributions to the growth and development of Infosys and the broader technology sector in India. His life and career have been characterized by a commitment to ethical business practices, innovation, and social responsibility. In 2023, Infosys was recognized as one of the world's most ethical companies, 2023, for the third consecutive year by Ethosphere. As of May 2023, N.R. Narayana Murthy has an estimated net worth of $4.1 billion. He is the 711th richest person in the world, as per Forbes. And that's the wrap of our story for today. Thank you guys for watching, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also please press the notification bell to be updated in our every uploads.